Next, we're in Virginia Beach, Virginia, for the trial of Joseph Merlino. The 31-year-old was charged with first-degree murder for allegedly killing his estranged girlfriend and mother of his young daughter on Valentine's Day by injecting her with cyanide. Security camera footage captures the 35-year-old victim, Ellie Tran, arriving at the home she shared with her mother around 8 p.m. After exiting the car, a man believed to be Merlino ambushes her from behind and stabs her in the leg with a syringe. Ellie can be seen briefly pursuing her assailant, then returns to the home where her mother called 911. Ellie Tran would not survive the attack. She died the following day of cyanide poisoning while in the hospital. Merlino maintained his innocence, claiming he was out of town at the time and not the person in the video. But eyewitness accounts from Tran's mother, as well as a longtime neighbor, both placed him near the scene moments after the crime. And his computer history showed searches related to making cyanide. Prosecutors argued Merlino was angry over a bitter custody battle for the couple's daughter. And after a five-day trial, he was found guilty of first-degree murder. But just a day before his scheduled sentencing, he appears optimistic during an interview conducted from jail. It was a huge, huge mistake for justice and the wrong person sitting right now. I'm not only hoping to get my name cleared, I'm hoping that the, this insidious justice that has been brought over these, these past two years won't fall into someone else's hands. And uh, hopefully I can get some case laws out of it under my name. But the following day, just prior to sentencing, Merlino appears quite different. Covered by a blanket, he appears to be shaking uncontrollably and is unresponsive. And while foaming at the mouth at the defense table, a Commonwealth attorney questions the doctor who examined him earlier that morning, asking if the entire episode is just an act. The doctor testified that Merlino had no physical condition that could have caused the symptoms, but stated they could be induced by stress. Sentencing was ultimately postponed until the following week, when a seemingly healthy Joseph Merlino was given a life sentence for the murder of Ellie Tram. The victim's mother would take custody of the couple's three-year-old child. Thanks for being a fan of CourtCam. Subscribe to AE to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.